Fashion is the social signpost that at any one time throughout history allows us to understand who we are and where we are in the world. If you go back and research, there is a distinction that is made between design and art. To know art is to know fashion. And even though professionals and experts and professors will tell you that they really belong in two different worlds, the reality is they've paralleled each other and oftentimes now in contemporary society fused together in the most interesting ways. Now in the postmodern era, you have this nice blurring of the lines between what is art, how is it considered art, you know, how does that impact society? My work in the fashion industry has allowed me to understand that there is a variety of forces that come together to shape our world. So not only in the fashion world, but more importantly, I've seen the connections out into society, into culture, into every aspect in which we live this world. And it is understanding that there are these connections that seem unconnected at first that lead the way or pave the way to innovative thought. I hope we shifted our minds a little on that one. That last segment was brought to you by the letter F. The question we get all the time when we meet someone is, what do you do? And really the question should be is, why do you do it? Passion. We've heard that word today and it's a word that I hear teaching that gets used over and over and over and half the time they have no idea what it means. It's understanding the why and the complexity of answering the question why that allows for innovation. Okay? There's a lot of people that confuse passion with having an interest in something. But there's a big difference. Passion means strong and barely controllable emotion. Interest, you know, I'm interested. I don't think anybody ever went up to their, you know, future wife or husband and was like, oh my God, would you marry me? I am so interested in you. My work in fashion and eventually with other professionals in the arts field and in the business world has allowed me to connect the unconnected, to bring different points of view together to truly create innovative solutions. It's oftentimes we overcomplicate and overthink our lives. I don't know if you do, I do. It's as if, if it's simple, there's no way it can be right. It's just, that's too easy. It's got to be way more difficult than that. When we realize that the one thing, the one simple thing that people love to do is connect, then we start to understand that it doesn't so much matter everything that's going on around us as it is to find the cultural connecting points. And that's kind of the point of today is to get excited enough about something that you take a stance, you claim it. And you do this in a variety of ways. But one of the most interesting ways is by taking into account seemingly impossible connections and making them possible. I just encourage you all, please get out of your box, meet with others, and share some big ideas. Thanks.